Can you imagine your relationship without sports? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know what we would do. We, uh, we're trying to be, I feel like we're trying to be more outdoorsy and things like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> when have you tried to be more outdoorsy and things like that? The window's open, huh? Got some fresh air coming in. <laughs> we are Ash Tim. I'm the Ash, short for Ashton. I'm the Tim. She thinks it's game day. <laughs> She's gotta get warmed up first. Good girl. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. I have worked in sports all of my adult life. I started um, in college. I was a part of the video department for the football team at Oregon State. I went to Villanova. I worked as a student assistant on the coaching staff on the football team there. And then in graduate work at Oregon State with the coaching staff working with the defense. And I don't officially work in sports anymore, but I think it's safe to say that I still watch more sports than ever. We met at Oregon State. So I worked a lot with the video department and our coaches. And I would tell jokes, do my whole comedy routine, you know, and I think Ashton would ask, you know, who's that guy? You know, and, and the idea, I guess, is that we just struck up a friendship and I was just around a lot. In a football office, you're busy, you work a ton of hours, and Ashton worked really hard, even as a student assistant. I don't want people to uh, read this, so you gotta turn the pages real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really lame. It really is. Tim was a little bit different to me than um, a lot of those other sports guys because he was a lot more sensitive and caring um, and he just kind of like had his ish together. Yeah, there was something a little different about old Tim. <laughs> old Tim. <laughs> I'm always one of those people that I'm drawn to people that are very creative and I love that she made those highlight videos and that was really cool to me to see her put in that work. I mean, there's nobody that matched my love of sports but also understood you know, the job I was in. I know really is times Ashton knows way more about sports than I do, especially now, you know. I think Ashton's good at making it known that she knows things too, <laughs> whether whether they're right or wrong, oh, but you know, um, I think that that's a, a good quality of hers, so. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't, you like, she didn't like that. My favorite teams are the Portland Trailblazers. Obviously, I have this uh, Triller Damian Lillard shirt. Um, absolutely anything Oregon State. Russell Westbrook also has my heart, so can't forget. But Damian has your... Yeah. He's got your full heart. Yeah. But Russ can have the pieces. Yeah. I don't know where I fall in, but I'm wearing <laughs> there. The Kansas City Chiefs I love. Um, that's my NFL team. Chris Holmes is like my favorite player ever. He's a running back. I still have two Priest Holmes jerseys. Um, those were my those are my faves. Always have been, always will be. You know, growing up in San Diego, I was a diehard Chargers and Padres fan. Um, the former San Diego Chargers fan. So I'm not a Chargers fan anymore, unfortunately. Um, yeah, big, big news here. I mean, now I'll just show you how stressful my Saturdays are. So I watch Oregon State football every Saturday, Michigan, Nebraska, Villanova. And now I just added San Jose State to my roster here on Saturday. So the reason I watch all these games because I have friends and, you know, I would even say family at, at all of those programs. Ashton is very superstitious. So say that we're we say that we are coming home to watch an Oregon State game and we were late and Oregon State went down and scored on the first drive. Well Ashton will say we shouldn't turn the game yeah. off. They're playing well without I'd us. I'd rather win and not get to watch the game. <laughs> and that drives me absolutely crazy. But if, if we need to go make a meal and we miss part of the game, um, you know, Ashton will be like, well, well, we're done watching it then. They just came back. And I'm like, they just came back. That's the most fun part. We get to watch them continue to come back. And she's like, nope. And she'll, she's, she's turned the TV off or shut the computer down um, on me. Tim's a big pumpkin spice latte guy. <laughs> Usually you'll like wake me up with one or whatever. You'll be like, yeah. we got them, we're ready. And then we're just like literally sitting watching like 10 games for the whole day with like a pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, that's, that's a good, good tradition. Yeah. Fall means pumpkin spice lattes in football. <laughs> okay, you don't laugh. Tim is the Relish's office manager. He comes in, he's like our facilities guy. He like takes care of things. If we need him to build a standing desk, he'll do it. If we need him to mount the TV, he has to do that soon. He doesn't know that yet. Um, so Tim is not only our cheerleader, but he's also... Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> Tim's not only our cheerleader, but he's also our office manager. 
character. Ashton, I love you even though your superstitions get in the way and, and I miss half of the games <laughs> I want to watch. I would love you even if you didn't love Oregon State. Is that true? No, that's not true. Okay, <laughs> okay. Not true. let's try it again. Now I love you because you're the glass half full to my sports glass half empty. Give dabs. Ha <laughs> ha